Microsoft. I have called them the evil empire on my show many times before, but is that fair? Is that fair today? The company has, in the last few years, been publicly embracing open source software and the open source culture, the community. They contribute money and code to the Linux kernel. They're one of the biggest contributors, actually, to the kernel. They do create some open source software themselves, but can we really trust Microsoft? Have they changed their wicked ways? Only time will tell. But what I can tell you is this. They recently attempted to package one of their open source programs for Linux, Debian to be specific, and the results? Machines were hosed. Let's discuss this. So, Microsoft recently packaged one of their open source programs, uh, a program called Microsoft R Open. Let me pull up a browser here. This is the Microsoft R application network here. Uh, I'll, I'll link to this in the show's description in case you guys want to actually read about what Microsoft R Open is. I don't know much about it myself. This is not my sort of thing, but... Basically, this is an open source platform for statistical analysis and data science. So, whatever that means. But anyway, it is something that Microsoft has created here. Uh, they d wanted to go ahead and package this thing for Debian. So they created a package. Let me pull up a blog here. This guy here, about three days ago, Norbert Printing. I hope I pronounced his name right. I will also link to his blog. He discusses that Microsoft Open R 3.5 was announced as an open source implementation of R with some improvements, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, he found some problems with the install script that Microsoft created for Debian. First of all, it has some linking that is uh, kind of dangerous here. First of all, the link will not work in case the standard R package is installed. So it doesn't check to see if you have a previous package uh, R package or installation on your system when it tries to do some of this linking. That could be a problem. It also forcibly relinks dat slash bin slash shell to bash. So if you are running a system and you are running some other shell other than bash, it is going to force that to, to now switch to bash. So if you were running ZSH or fish or some other shell, we're getting rid of that and we're going to put bash back in. Uh, that's bad. <laughs> then it also includes some pretty bad code as far as removing things. For example, you see the RMs here in these three lines for removing slash user slash bin slash R slash user slash bin slash R script and then RM space dash RF. That is forcibly, <laughs> recursively force remove, you know, whatever directory this is. And this guy in his blog, uh, Mr. Printing, stop, wait. You are removing slash user slash min slash r without even checking that it points to the r you have installed. Uh, basically, he suggests Microsoft really needs to read up a bit, uh, uh, in particular about dpkg-divert and proper packaging. Uh, he said basically this package was so amateurish and so dangerous that uh, it's, it's either a joke or they were actually trying... <laughs> <laughs> to hose people's machines. Now, I don't particularly share that opinion. Uh, I actually think this is just really bad code. Uh, it was just rushed, and nobody really checked it. Uh, Microsoft, even though they're embracing Linux and open source, they're still very much new to the game. Uh, so, some of the damages that could have been uh, done to your system using their Debian package here for the R open install. I'm going to go to this page here, this uh, article from the register. I'll, I'll also link to this article. This article is dated today. Uh, Sean Nichols is the author. Let's see. It's, they have found in Debian that this open source package was not playing nice with some systems, so people were reporting problems. Uh, let's see. In particular, the shell instructions Microsoft used to install the software would fail on a computer where another version of R is already installed. So if you already had R install, the install script wouldn't even work. Worse, the script would delete whatever is at slash bin slash shell and override it with bash, changing the system's command interpreter. Yeah, that's bad. And then printing also found 
uh, that it used some pretty bad practices in regarding to deleting these files, these files and directories. Anyway, and, and the last thing here in the register article, they actually quote printing. Uh, Microsoft apparently has already fixed this, so there's already a fix for it. So as of this recording, Microsoft released a fix. They, they've changed the code. You're not going to hose your machine, but printing said, Thanks, Microsoft, for the quick fix. It is good news that playing with OpenR will not be left with a hosed machine. Uh, so, there you go. Microsoft, uh, you know, some of their early attempts at creating Linux packages for, you know, their open source software. Complete fail. Special thanks to my patrons. I want to give a special thanks to my Patreon supporters. David, Carlos, Nick, Daniel, Brian, Leor, A.K., Ron, Keith, Dan, Michael, Tony, Bruno, David, Mike, Silvio, Omar, Mark, Mr. Neely, Pops, John, Carl, Greg, Rob, Matt, Christian, Tiedemann, Stephen Z, Eduardo, Alex, Jake, Benjamin, Stephen B., Marcus, Interceptor, Tubella, and Humade. Appreciate you guys. You guys help make this show possible. Peace.